from the city of Denton. This is a DTV news break. Hello, I'm Amy Cunningham, a marketing and outreach coordinator for the city of Denton. My job each day is to help citizens connect with the city by managing our social media and the Engage Denton app. And here's your DTV news break. The Denton Police Department will be updating their look in the coming months. The current police patch and badge, seen here on the left, will be updated to the ones on the right. But don't worry, uniformed officers will still be wearing navy and will be very recognizable as officers. Venues all across the city hosted the Denton Black Film Festival that wrapped up over the weekend. There were many varied events, which included more than just film. It was a celebration of culture more than anything else, a celebration that has consistently grown year to year. I think that this festival is going to be the festival in the Southwest for black film because, and I know it seems weird, it's in Denton, but we had film festivals in Dallas, they didn't make it. You know, they, after years of being struggling, trying to get funding and what have you, they were not able to um, continue. This one seems to have the stuff to, to make it be, you know, some, have some longevity, and I think that's great. I mean, people are coming from other places to see this film festival. That's your sign that you probably have something that's gonna be lasting. Is this move that you just gonna speed by everything? <laughs> well, I have done visual arts for, you know, 40 years and I had decided that I really needed to do something that was a little bit more accessible, for one thing. Um, I am very interested in my work being seen by people and not just people who can afford to pay a whole lot of money to go to a museum or whatever. Um, so I started thinking about what ways could I do work that would be accessible to more people. And my son, who has done film and what have you, he told me, he said, well, you know, what about video? You know, because then you can post stuff online and you know there's a way for you to share with people and have it interactive and so I started thinking about video and not as a filmmaker per se but as a means of doing my work in a medium that would be a lot more accessible than installation which you know installations one they're temporary they go up they come down so if you miss the show you missed it you know because no two installations are ever the same because the spaces are not the same so that was one of my, my motivations for deciding to look at video as, the, as a tool to use to do the art. There's something else. I want it known that the work that I'm doing is, it has a purpose. You know, I'm not trying to shy away from my ethnicity in any way. Um, in fact, I'm embracing it and celebrating it. So, you know, I, I, like I said, I understand, especially artists who are doing abstract art or something like that that really doesn't have uh, a root in blackness. I can understand them saying, well, I'm an artist first and, you know, the black part of it is not as critical to my process. But in my case, my practice is about talking about who I am and what my people are doing and been doing and, you know, all of that's very critical to the, to the aesthetic that I'm coming up with. Keep Dutton Beautiful is looking for volunteers for this year's Great American Cleanup. The event is not until March 21st, but groups are forming now. Head on over to kdb.org slash volunteer for more information and to sign up. The Friends and Family Season Pass Sale for the Denton Waterworks Park ends this Friday. Customers may purchase up to four passes for $50 each. Passes may be purchased online at dentonwaterworks.com, in person at any recreational facility, or by calling the Natatorium at 940-349-8800. That does it for this time. I'm Amy Cunningham. Thanks for watching. You can catch more city videos at youtube.com and remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook.